Hi, thank you for joining us at Main Library for Art is Life. Today we're going to be painting a fun bunny and a cute carrot inspired by the artwork of Valerie Fritz. Let's get started. Before we start our acrylic painting on canvas, if your canvas is raw, you'll want to apply a gesso to prep the canvas. If you don't have gesso at home, you could use a matte white acrylic paint. You will brush in one direction across the canvas. And we're gonna put about three coats of this. Your brush should be about one and a half to two inches wide. Synthetic bristles are better for acrylic painting. Okay, now that we have the first coat of gesso on the canvas, we are going to let that dry. Um, typically, you will want to put two to three coats of gesso on your canvas, and you will just keep alternating your the direction that you brush the gesso, first horizontal and then vertical and then horizontal again. Okay, so now that we have a good coat on our canvas, we can get started. We'll be doing the bunny painting first, and I'm just gonna lay the stencil that came in your kit on the canvas and I'm going to trace it. Okay. And next, we will take a wide brush, a wide flat brush, and begin painting the background. You can choose whatever color background that you would like. I'm going to use black like Valerie's painting.
Okay, so now that your um, background is dry, we will apply hot glue to the outline of the rabbit. Remember that a hot glue gun can be very hot, so you want to make sure that you don't touch that metal tip or um, touch the glue until it has dried. Okay, let's see here. It's, it's almost time to load another glue stick. but not quite yet. Not quite yet. This gun is acting crazy. I, don't, I can't get it to stay in there. Now that we've outlined the bunny with glue, we're going to make hind legs and little lines for his hips. And Mm 
Okay. As you'll notice, thank you. We'll also put some glue for his tail area to give it some texture. Now, you'll notice that the hot glue gun is gonna leave some um, strings behind and we'll just peel those off. Valerie um, probably used a tan or khaki type color for her bunny. Um, today, I'm gonna be using a peach color for the base color. and I'm just gonna dry brush it on. I'm gonna use quite a bit of paint so that we can blend later. We're gonna wanna paint over the, the hot glue. Okay, now we're going to use chestnut. To blend in to create some shadows for the bunny. We're gonna load the brush and then we're gonna dry it off quite a bit on the plate or a napkin. And we're just gonna start creating some shadow around the curves of the bunny's body. So now that we have this um, nice base coat, I've started blending some chestnut brown paint into the bunny. You don't want a lot of um, paint. You're gonna load your brush very lightly. And if you have a bit much, like right here, I've put a bit much, then you'll just um, wipe your brush on your paper towel and then continue to work. So just lightly give him some color. See here, I've got still a little bit much paint. So I'm just gonna wet that down with just a little bit, tiny amount of water. And kind of spread that out. Now, we're going to add some paint up here on this top here. carry that on out 
his forehead. Just remember to keep blending if it's too much dark in one area. And then we'll add some fluffy white for the tail. And some more of the peach color to give it some definition. And a curved pattern. There we go. Now we'll be gluing his uh, bow on. And there we have it. A fun bunny. Now that we've finished our bunny, we'll get started on our carrot painting. Um, this canvas has already been prepped. We're going to go ahead and trace the carrot using the stencil that came in your kit. I'm going to put the carrot horizontal on the canvas, but you can place it wherever you like. You could even trace the stencil several times if you wanted more than one carrot. Okay. Now that we have it traced, I'll go ahead and outline it with hot glue. I'm not going to paint the background. So, I'm just going to outline with glue. Okay. Now while we let that dry, I'll talk about the paint colors that I'm going to use. You can use the colors that you like. I'm going to use apricot, outrageous orange, purple pansy, Golden yellow, cameo pink, and this fun neon violet, which I will be um, mixing to lighten it up. And also, I may use some spring green. Okay, we'll start with the apricot color for the base of the carrot. It's kind of a bright yellowy orange.
Make sure you kind of go over the hot glue around the edges, even though we will be lining it with a darker color later. Okay, I got a little bit outside the edges, so I'm just going to clean that line up. Okay, now, after that dries, we'll apply um, some more hot glue to create the circles to give the circle some texture. Okay. So I'm gonna put a circle here. Now we'll let the hot glue dry. Now we'll take a um, smaller brush and we will use a dark orange to outline the carrot on where the hot glue is on the outside. Now I will begin putting some color on our circles. Now we'll start adding some lines to make the round looking shape of a carrot. I'm using the um, outrageous orange and I'll use a bit of yellow. Then we'll add some black 
and white in there. Just little light lines. Okay, once that dries, we will begin to glue on the bow. You want to put plenty of glue to hold your bow on. And there you go. There you have it. A fun carrot. Thank you for joining us for Art is Life. We hope you enjoyed painting the bunny and carrot today. You can find plenty of resources on acrylic painting on our eBranch services or in um, our online catalog.